Yes, you heard it right. In this scene of the Academy Award winning film Saving Private Ryan, Tom Hanks is screaming, Bangalore's, bring out the Bangalore's. So what is Bangalore doing in a war movie? To unravel this mystery, let's rewind to the early months of the year 1910. The world was standing at the precipice of the First World War and the British were studying materials capable of breaking through a network of barbed wires. Their search ended in 1912 when Captain McClintock of the British Army of Bengal in India, in Bangalore to be precise, developed a device, the Bangalore Torpedo. Imagine a metal cylindrical tube several meters long that could fit into other tubes to increase the area of the explosion. After extensive use in World War I, the Bangalore Torpedo made a comeback almost 30 years later in the early 1940s. This time in the hands of the US military that adopted the same engineering design and produced a large-scale torpedo, M1A1, known as Bangalore, named after the city where the tube was designed by Captain McClintock. So what made this one torpedo so special that you can hear about it in this BBC documentary? <laughs> no, it's the uh, Bangalore torpedo. When the explosive detonates, uh, all the metal uh, casing forms into fragments and then that's what cuts the uh, barbed wire. Or in the video game Call of Duty. Macklin Talk was assisted by the soldiers of the Madras Sappers while developing this torpedo in Bangalore. The Madras Engineer Group was formed in 1780 as a forerunner to the army. Their job involved building bridges, clearing hedges, digging trenches and clearing any other hurdle that came in the way of the troops, even at the cost of their own lives. Such was their efficiency and competency that General Frederick Roberts, the commander-in-chief of the Madras Army, was compelled to say in 1883, we may now be certain that whenever India is called to put an army in the field, the Madras sappers will be part of that army. Whenever they have been employed, they have added to their reputation and are a distinction to the presidency. Interestingly, saving Private Ryan, The Longest Day, The Big Red One and Storming Juno, all films set during World War II show the device being used during D-Day invasion scenes. The Bangalore torpedo is engraved in world history and is still being used in modified versions by many armies throughout the world. The forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations.